Hey everyone, Charlie here, and welcome to Learn to Play Piano with Charlie, where today we are going to talk about uh, a neat little trick that I learned a long time ago um, on how to voice chords. Um, and this is just going to be a, on, a, on a, a little trick that I learned from someone a long time ago. Before, but before we start, be sure to uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell um, on YouTube, on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, all that good stuff. And uh, let's, let's, let's give it a go. So a long time ago, I was at this, um, this piano festival, I think it was down in Texas. And uh, there was a, uh, a pianist who was one of the teachers there. Uh, I believe it was, I think it was Andre Laplante. Um, I think he's a Canadian... Um, a pianist, um, and he, he, I was playing a Beethoven sonata. I think it was, I don't know if it was this one. I think it was. Um, I think that's 101. Correct me if I'm wrong. I might be, I might be getting them mixed up. But uh, Opus 101. But anyways, we were talking about voicing. And so what is voicing? Voicing is really important in the piano, especially because if you're playing an instrument that only plays one note at a time, or maybe two, voicing isn't as important, especially when you're playing one note at a time. There's only one voice, right? Like it, it's, you're playing you know, a, a melody. If you're playing two or more, then, you st then it starts becoming interesting because not only are you playing a note, but you have to adjust the volumes um, in terms of what is more important, right? Is is the top note, is the bottom note. And it becomes extremely hard um, in the piano because you're playing sometimes you know, up to 10 notes or more at a time. And um, you have maybe a bass line and a melody and maybe harmonies and they're all doing different things. And sometimes you have different melodies weaving in and out of each other. And you know, what do you bring out? How do you shape it? All that good stuff. So voicing is basically like if you think of it as... Um, if you have, a, if you're like a, a, an audio mixer or something, you have different tracks and you have the volume mixing things for all the different tracks. Maybe you have a vocals and the drums and the bass and the what, and you can adjust them up. Maybe the, the, the bass is too quiet, so you bring that up a bit. Maybe the, uh, the mid guitars are a little too loud, so you bring those down. Maybe the vocals, the singer needs to be a little louder. You have to balance them out. Similarly, in the piano, you have to do the same thing. So if you're playing a chord, say I'm gonna play this chord. If I were to play it like this, I'm, I'm gonna play. I, I'm gonna play a thick chord like this. I'll play this chord. If I play it like this, there's gotta be a good reason for me to do that because otherwise it doesn't sound that great, right? This sounds a lot better. Same notes. Now, what's the difference there? Well, the difference is I balanced it. I voiced it. Um, so oftentimes you want the bass to come out. Oftentimes you want the melody to come out and oftentimes that's in the top. In the middles you oftentimes want down. Now there's exceptions, there's a ton of exceptions, but let's say you want to balance a, a particular section of the song or a piece. Um, what Andre Laplante taught me was, uh, I was having a private lesson with him, and he was saying one thing you can do is basically play the chord, so if it's the beginning of that Beethoven sonata it would be And repeat it over and over again with the soft pedal, or sorry, with the uh, sustain pedal down, the the, uh, the connecting legato pedal, the sustain pedal, sostenuto. Repeat it over and over again and slowly adjust the levels of the different notes in there until you get it just right. So let's say you start off bad. Now I need more top. Maybe a little bit more at the bottom. Just right. Then, when you go to play it, it's it's easier to, to kind of get it there. Let's go back to my example with the big thick uh, um, C major chord. So we've got this. Let's balance it out. More tops. Less middle. Maybe more of the the bottoms and middle C. There we go. And now it sounds like much better. So that's kind of a little trick that you can use to voice um, to voice a section um, of a piece. And I, I do it sometimes and it's really helpful and uh, hopefully it's uh, useful to you sometimes as well. So take care and uh, be sure to subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.